A fire pit can be a great addition to your backyard and also can be a great focal point for outdoor entertaining. I'll show you how to build one yourself, easy as. Now to build our fire pit, I'm gonna be using these Firth Easy Wall masonry blocks. The great thing about these is they click together really nice and easy and I don't need any mortar or cement to hold them together. Now the position that I've got this ring is well away from the house, should any wind blow, no sparks or smoke are gonna get into the house and it's well away from any overhanging branches. Now it takes exactly 20 of our Firth Easy Wall blocks to make up our perfect circle. We have an overall diameter of 1050. I'm going to allow 150 millimetres all the way around the outside edge as a mowing strip and I'm going to put some stones in there. That way it's not going to be too hard when we come to mow the lawn. So essentially what we've got is an overall diameter of 1350. The next thing I'm going to do is start marking out a circle so I know exactly how much soil to take away. Now, we had an overall diameter of 1350. Now, half of that is 675 millimetres. So, I've marked from the end of our stick 675 millimetres, and I've drilled a hole, and I'm just going to use this stake here. I'm going to put that in the middle, hammer that in. So, that 675 is now our radius. So, what I've got here is, is some upside down dazzle. I'm going to mark out our perfect circle and start digging it out. Now I'm going to build my fire pit four blocks high and I'm going to have one of those layers into the earth. And my fire brick is 125 millimetres thick and I'm going to have about 40 to 50 millimetres of base course underneath. So I need to dig down approximately 170 millimetres. Before digging, make sure to check your plans so you don't hit any underground pipes and call your power company for information about any buried cables and always check with your local authority on open fire laws. Check your depth, and then compact the loose dirt using a tamper. If your backyard is prone to flooding or if you've got a high water table in the ground, you might want to dig yourself out a hole approximately 300 by 300 and about 200 millimetres deep and fill that full of scoria. When it rains, the water's going to go down your little scoria plug hole. Then add the first layer of the base course, about 20 mils deep, and roughly level it out. Give it a light spray so the top is damp. Then once again, tamp down the whole area. Now, time to put in our top layer. Once again, spread it out. Do a quick check for level, before giving it one last tamp down and a final smooth and overall level check. Rightio, so I've just put my rod back in to the centre of our circle and I've put our guide stick back in. I've got my garden edging here. I'm going to keep in my guide stick and what I'm going to do is cut my garden edging to length and I'm going to drop that in using my guide stick. So I'm going to put the garden edging up against that nice and tight, pin that garden edging in and I'm going to get the perfect circle. Right, so we're on to starting to lay our blocks now. We have our standard tongue and groove style. Obviously got our groove on this side, tongue on that side, and these all slot together. And then we have our groove on one side and smooth on the other. Obviously that is our top layer, so we're putting that on last. I've got my bit of timber here as a guide. Now I've got 375 millimetres. That is the radius from the centre of the hole to the inside line of our blocks. So I'm just going to use that as a guide. Now remember, it is 20 blocks per ring. So I'm just going to start laying those in, then I'll use my rubber mallet to adjust them nice and tight after they're in. And we're just going to make sure that they're also sitting flush with each other on the top. The good thing about the rubber mallet is you can hit them quite hard and they're not going to break or chip as if you were to use a standard hammer. So that's looking pretty good. So we're just about ready to put our second layer in. Once we've got this first layer sorted, we're home sailing. Now when you start laying your sickering, you want to make sure that you stagger the joints. So we're going to start the next block right in the middle of the last one. So pretty easy, they just sit all nice together like that, work your way around. And build it up four layers high. Use your rubber mallet to tap the blocks into position as you go to ensure a tight, sturdy fit. 
And finally, fill the perimeter with stones or pebbles. Okay, that's looking pretty good. The only thing I really have to do now, just put a little bit of topsoil down the side of our mowing strip, and we're all good to go. So to finish off your outdoor area, you can knock yourself up a couple of bench sheets out of Macrocarpa, so you can sit back and enjoy your new fire pit. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel for more great content or click here to watch more now.